With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is an equilateral triangle is inscribed in uh, the parabola y square equals to 8x with one of its vertex is the vertex of parabola. Then the length of the side or that triangle is. So let's see the solution here. So simply in this question what is given that is uh, an equilateral triangle which is inscribed in a parabola of equation y square is equals to 8x with one of its vertex of the vertex of parabola so that we have to find the length of the triangle okay so how could we find out that that is first of all if we compare the given parabola equation with general equation of y square is equals to 4ax so on comparing we get 4a is equals to 8 this implies that a will be equals to how much that is 2 okay so here we got the value of a is nothing but equals to 2. Now what we will do? We will do let there is a point on parabola that is p having the coordinate of this will be a t square comma uh, twice of a t. Okay. So on substituting the value of a here this point will become p into a is what 2 into t square plus 2 to the 4 times of t. Okay. Now since the triangle is equilateral triangle, okay, and as we know in equilateral triangle, the angle, uh, each angle is of 60 degree, while if you see, so the axis of parabola bisects the angle and hence the angle will become how much, that is 30 degree. So if the side intersect the parabola at this point, that is 2t square comma 4t, so I can say that the value of angle that is tan of 30 degree okay this will become equals to 40 divided by 2t square okay so on solving what we get we get the value of t will be equals to 2 under root of 3 because uh, tan 30 is what uh, okay uh, you can see here this 2 to the 4 1t 1t will be get cancel out t will go to that side okay while this 1 upon under root 3 will come to this side so become 2 under root of 3 because tan 30 is nothing but 1 upon under root of 3 okay so here we got the value of t on substituting here our point p will become how much that is under root 3 square will become 3 uh, 2 square will be 4 3 4 is a 12 4 uh, 12 4 2 is a 24 okay comma and similarly this point will become 8 under root of 3 okay now here we have found the point now simply by using distance formula i can able to find the length of the side of the triangle that is we will say the length of side of triangle it will be equals to under root of 0 minus 24 is square that is 24 is square plus 0 minus 8 under root 3 is square that is 8 under root of 3 it's a square okay so this will be equals to root over 24 square is how much 576 okay plus now 80 square is 64 uh, into under root 3 square will be uh, 3 3 multiplied by 64 will be 192 on adding you will get 768 uh, okay and on further solving this value will become equals to how much that is 16 under root of 3 okay so we got the side of the triangle is how much that is 16 under root of 3 and this is what our required answer now let us check option here so option b will become correct so this is the required solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today